John Voight is a Hollywood actor with two children. Both of those children followed the star into the entertainment industry, becoming performers themselves. The more famous is Angelina Jolie. John has had a contentious relationship with his kids over the years, and a big part of that is due to the fact that he cheated on their mother. Join Factsverse as we explore how John Voight has huge problems with his own children. John Voight has never been much of a family man. John Voight has never been much of a family man. The actor became a star thanks to his performance in the cutting-edge 1969 drama Midnight Cowboy. The movie was filmed in the middle of John's two marriages. He was married to actress Lori Peters from 1962 to 67, and the two didn't have any kids. After divorcing Lori, John performed in Midnight Cowboy and was subsequently on top of the world when he married Marceline Bertrand in 1971. Like Lori Peters, Bertrand was an actress at the time she became involved with John Voight. In 1973, John and Marceline brought the first of their two kids into the world, James Haven. 1975 saw the birth of Angelina Jolie. But John's relationship with his two kids isn't the best. It started falling apart early on as he was never there for their mother. John Voight continued acting after marrying Marceline Bertrand, and he expected Marceline to quit her profession to be there for the kids. John was hardly around at all, and not being around was one thing, but the actor took it even further when he cheated on Marceline. Their marriage ended in 1980 as a result of the actor's infidelity. John was never there for his kids. Given that John was already barely in the lives of his wife and kids, his 1980 divorce didn't change much for anyone involved. John kept living his life the way he wanted, and Marceline kept raising her two kids without much input or help from their father. But not long after the divorce, John started making attempts to get closer with his kids. As avid film historians might know, Angelina Jolie made her debut in the 1982 film Looking to Get Out. The film starred her father, and Angelina took the role as his insistence. From the outside looking in, it seemed as if John just wanted the opportunity to bond with his little girl. But as things continued, it became apparent that what John was really interested in was the public relations angle. John being a deadbeat dad who wasn't there for his kids didn't make for very good press, so the actor was advised to do what he could to make it look like he had a good relationship with his children. In 1986, he brought them with him to the Academy Awards. This provided a perfect opportunity for the three to be seen on camera together as a happy family. But when the cameras weren't rolling, it seems John didn't have much interest in his growing children. Angelina Jolie became a gigantic star herself. Angelina went on to become a major star in her own right, thanks to her appearance in the 1995 film Hackers. Though Angelina had Hollywood connections via her celebrity father, it's debatable how much John really helped getting her into the industry. What's inarguable is that John's behavior towards Angelina when she was a child had some pretty negative effects. Angelina Jolie has always been open about the damaging consequences that her father's unstable behavior had on her while she was growing up. She suffered numerous personal problems, including eating disorders and insomnia. As a teenager, Angelina became heavily involved with drugs and alcohol, and these issues carried over into her adult years. The actress claims that by the time she was 20, she had tried nearly every drug known to man. But nothing she tried could help make the pain of her unstable childhood go away. During her early 20s, she attempted suicide twice. This video is sponsored by Kamakoto Knives, which are made from high-quality Japanese steel using traditional centuries-old techniques. The first thing I noticed about these knives is the beautiful, heavy-duty ash wood box they come in. Not only is this great for storage, but it makes a great gift for any chef or knife enthusiast. Upon opening the box, I couldn't help but admire the craftsmanship that goes into each knife. Each one is handcrafted by an expert bladesmith, a 19-step process that takes several years to complete for a single Japanese steel knife. Then, each blade is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. I had never used a Japanese steel knife until Kamakoto, but even as a casual home chef, I immediately noticed the quality was way better than any knife I'd used before. It's reasons like these that Kamakoto knives are used by Michelin star chefs all over the world. Kamakoto has several special offers going on right now and is offering our viewers an extra $50 off any purchase with the discount code FAXVERSE on top of ongoing special offers. Go to kamakoto.com slash faxverse to get your knives set and help support our channel. Angelina used her trauma to her advantage. 
During her early 20s, Angelina tried to commit suicide on two separate occasions. Miraculously, neither of these two attempts proved successful. But her personal issues didn't go away after her second failed attempt. At age 24, she had a nervous breakdown and was forced to stay at a psychiatric hospital for three days. Angelina would use these traumatic experiences to her advantage when performing in the role that won her her first and hitherto only Academy Award. Though Jolie's breakout role was in 1995's Hackers, it was 1999's Girl Interrupted that proved to the world the actress was a force to be reckoned with. The film was a major success critically and commercially, and Angelina's supporting part in the movie was one of its most renowned aspects. Angelina had become a superstar without any help from her father, though the actress did still thank him when making an acceptance speech. Many credit her Academy Award acceptance speech with being the thing that brought father John Voight back into her life during her adult years. The two had remained distant since Angelina's childhood, but John was apparently very touched when his daughter credited him during her acceptance speech. This led to the two patching up their relationship, and they even went on to star in a film together with 2001's Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. John and Angelina worked together on a film. In Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, John Voight played the father to Angelina's character of Lara Croft. Of course, the film was based upon the Tomb Raider video game series. Many thought that John and his daughter sharing the screen together for the first time in nearly two decades meant they had repaired their relationship for good. But John tellingly didn't reprise his role in the 2003 sequel. Around the same time that was being released, Angelina adopted her first child. This child's name is Maddox. Infamously, the adoption almost didn't go through because of a remark that John Voight made during an interview. The adoption process was stringent, and Angelina needed to keep her attempts out of the public eye for it to go through. John accidentally let slip that she was trying to adopt a child, and this almost made it so the actress wasn't given approval. Angelina was understandably upset at her father for nearly messing up her first adoption, but she still let him be a part of her life for the next couple of years. Sadly, the father and daughter pair's relationship fell apart again. In 2002, John gave another interview where he said things that damaged his daughter. This time, however, it wasn't an accident. The interview saw John claim that his daughter was suffering from serious mental problems and that she desperately needed help. John Voight, Concerned Father or Manipulative Monster It's easy to look at the remarks that John Voight made about his daughter during that 2002 interview and think he was being just a concerned father. But starting a public rumor that Angelina Jolie was dealing with mental instability was not something that helped her out whatsoever. Instead, the remarks not only damaged Angelina, but they all but destroyed the relationship that the two had tried to repair. After that interview, Angelina didn't talk to John for many years. Understandably, she came to view her father as toxic and didn't want him around her or her kids. In 2006, her mother passed away. It was the actress's job to pass the news on to her father, which she did, but she didn't stick around on the phone line to see how her father was doing. Many years later, Angelina would finally be inspired to heal her relationship with her father once more. Many credit Brad Pitt with inspiring Angelina to heal her relationship with her father for the umpteenth time. Brad apparently wanted his and Angelina's kids to know their grandfather. They've since divorced, but it seems Angelina and her father are doing pretty well. It seems that after all these years, John Voight has finally realized how he needs to behave towards his children. Though Angelina is the more famous of John Voight's kids, she's not the only one that the actor has had a contentious relationship with over the years. He's also had a troubled relationship with son James Haven. It seems John has made some steps towards repairing that relationship over the years. James's big problem with his father was that he was never there for him or his sister while they were growing up. Brother and sister pair James Haven and Angelina Jolie also have a pretty strange relationship. After Angelina's Academy Award win, the actress shared a kiss with her brother that seemed more romantic than familial. Years later, James was hired to nanny Angelina's kids, only to be fired unceremoniously in the wake of her divorcing Brad Pitt. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know John Voight got his daughter Angelina Jolie her first role on screen when she was only seven? Let us know in the comments section below.